Hello and welcome back to Dynamic CCTV's second call blog. In this video we're going to show you how to add a device manually using the serial number to your Hit Connect account on the app. Now in the previous video we went through creating the account, so now we've done that and we're logged into the account, we'll get right into adding it manually. Straight away on the front page we've got the refresh button and we've got the add device button. Now if you've not got a device added to the account those will come up but if you've already got a device added to your Hit Connect account you don't get those options. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on clicking the plus button in the top right hand corner and that will give us a drop down with a scan the QR code, manual adding, online device and add to favourites. Now as we're not looking through the other three options I'll briefly brush over them for you. We've got the scan QR code which allows you to scan the QR code located in the platform access page locally on the recorder. Uh, that works just as well but for the instance of this video we're going to go through the manual adding side of it we've got online device which looks for all of the hic vision HIC devices on your network that you're connected to you can add using this method and it will add using the local ipv4 address which works fine if you are doing it for local view only but if you're wanting to view it off-site let's say from you're viewing your home work cameras at the office that won't work as it's a local address We've got add to favourites which I'll show you at the end as it only works correctly if you've already got devices added. So we select the manual adding option here and straight away we get the adding type hit connect domain which is what we're going to be looking at today. But if you want to click that you get a diff you get three different options you've got IP domain and Pyronix. Uh, for the IP domain you can add using a public IPv4 address or you can add using a DDNS to add to the actual app itself and that does work. But as for this, we're looking into the hit connect domain side of it. If you're going to do anything with Pyronix, we recommend using the Pro Control app itself, as that's what it's there for. So we're going to go to the hit connect domain here, and we're going to type in our serial number for our recorder. So now we're typing the serial number in. What we'll do is we'll click the floppy disk icon in the top right, which is the save button, and that'll look for that device on the network. We'll click add, and as you can see there, it asks us for the verification code. If it's a newer device, you'll have set that verification code up yourself in the platform access page. If it's an older device, it will have already created one, but it still can be located in the platform access page. You just want to input that there and click the OK option. Now what it does here, it's pulling that information through, so it's allocating that recorder to your account on the server itself. So you can view it on your account, you can view it on the phone that you're creating it on now, you can view it on an iPad, you can view it on a tablet, as long as it's based off the account. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click next as we're going to look at configure DDNS in another video. So we click next and we've got the edit alias option. Now it's automatically bringing up some information here for me now as this recorder itself has previously been added to another account. But by default what it does is it brings up the, let's say your recorder is a DS7608NIK2. That would bring up that would come up in the alias and then in brackets it would give you your serial number so for example if it was one two three four five six seven eight nine that would come up in the brackets uh, the skip option essentially makes it so you don't have to change any information the save option you select if you've changed the name of the device what we're going to do is we're just going to click skip here and there we go as you can see in my device uh, we've got our recorder that we've just added and you can see there we've already got a favourites that I've created previously so what we're now going to do is click the plus button click add to favourites so as you can see here select items you click the drop down you can select each individual camera or you can select all the cameras with the big button there so what we're going to do is click all of it we're going to unselect camera zero and click ok there we go we've got a favourites name so what we're going to do here is click test ok and there we go automatically created one and there we go automatically viewing the cameras but if you don't want to create one, you click the drop down here, and there you go, all the cameras, you can, if, you, if you select the actual name of the recorder here, it will just bring it up, but if you want to view specific cameras, that will work no problem as well. Okay, so that's all for this video, but in the future we'll be covering further hit connect topics, so stay tuned for those.